वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग डियर फ्रेंड्स माय सेल्फ डॉक्टर विक्रांत सुधाकर पाड़कर आई एम वर्किंग एज अ असिस्टंट प्रोफेसर इन गोखले एजुकेशन सोसायटीज आर्ट्स कॉमर्स एंड सायंस कॉलेज जवाहर पालघर वेलकम इन द फोर्थ लेक्चर ऑन द सिंथेसि ऑफ ऑर्गेनिक कंपाउंड्स टील नाउ वी हैव कंप्लीटेड द टाइप्स ऑफ ऑर्गेनिक सिंथेसि मल्टी कंपोनेंट रिएक्शन्स द एग्जाम्पल्स वॉट वी हैव सीन इज मैनेज रिएक्शन एंड बिग्निली रिएक्शन इन द लास्ट सेशन we have gone through the various basic principles of green chemistry and we know come to know that if you try to utilize all the principles of green chemistry then that particular synthesis will be called as a green synthesis so we have seen 12 principles you must have gone through the earlier uh, earlier video so in this particular topic we are going to see the concept of environmental factor and atom economy so what is environmental factor that is also being called as a e factor so it is directly related with the environment because after all whatever the reaction takes place the by product form they are called to be as a hazardous waste so basically they go into the environment so this particular aspect also need to be considered from organic synthesis point of view so let us see what is environmental factor so it is basic ratio of mass of waste that is also called as a effluent generated in kg to the mass of desired product so it is directly related with the right hand side of the reaction what is the right hand side of the reaction product that is desired product and waste that is by product form so it is a ratio of by product that is waste to the ratio of product so this particular factor is an indicator of the pollution effect caused on the environment as a part of waste generated in the reaction so e factor basically gives us the information about whatever the waste that is being accounted in the form of pollutant which is uh, takes place inside the reaction so if we find more the mass of the effluent greater will be the e factor and greater will be the environmental pollution so this particular thing we need to remember so if you want to have very good uh, organic synthesis that is green uh, synthesis your e factor must be nearer to zero or almost to zero so let us see what is environmental factor so as we have seen it is a ratio of mass of effluent that is waste produced divided by mass of the desired product so this is a uh, formula we need to remember for the calculation of e factor so how to calculate e factor for any reaction so for example let us take this particular example reactions where this is the substrate then reagent then product and waste so in order to calculate the e factor the first duty we need to do is the calculation of molar molecular weight so calculate the molecular formula and based upon that calculate the molar weight or molecular weight of each and every component but in order to calculate the e factor basically we need to know the molar mass of product and by products so how can we calculate we know the formula mass of effluent and to the mass of desired product so what is the mass of effluent 1 1 so here water cannot be considered as a effluent okay so that does not have much effect on the environmental pollution so we will count only calcium chloride that is 111 divided by 44 44 is the molar mass of this oxygen or ethylene oxide so 111 divided by 44 that is equal to 2.52 so what is 2.52 indicate to us so this particular reaction is very good or not of course this particular factor 2.52 is quite higher i already to told you that if it is nearer to zero then it could have been a very good synthesis so what we can say what we have understood smaller the e factor is desirable as it produces lesser waste if your e factor is less so what it indicates what are the by product forms are very less in the number okay or less in the mass basically 
So above reactions, E factor is quite high, 2.52 is quite high number. See this particular method is not good as per the principles of green chemistry. So remember this one. So this we have to remember how to calculate E factor. I hope so you must have understood, you must know the molar mass of byproduct that is waste to the molar mass of desired products. So calculate it, put it in the formula. So it will be some number. Then we are going to see the uh, next concept that is being called as a atom economy. Economy, basically it is related with the number of atoms which are taking part inside the reaction. So what is it? The reaction is said to be atom economical if most of the mass of the reactants are incorporated into desired product. I will repeat again. If most of the atoms of the reactants are incorporated into the desired product. So that particular reaction is called as a atom economy. Means for example, if we are taking let us say 10 atoms on the reactants side and if the 10 atoms are going to uh, uh, get inside the product, then that particular reaction said to be as an atom economy. If you get a ratio of 5 plus 5, so that is not atom economical. So whatever number of atoms you take on the right hand side of the reaction that must go inside the product only, not a byproduct. Okay, so this is how we can calculate. So how to calculate percentage atom economy? So it is calculated by the help of formula. Molecular weight of desired product divided by sum of molecular weight of desired product divided by molecular weight of byproduct. So it is ratio of molar mass of product divided by sum of product plus byproduct. So this is how we can get atom economy into 100. Here you must uh, write into 100. So let us say for example uh, this reaction. So what is this reaction? 1,3-butadiene reacts with ethene and they form the cyclohexene. It is a simple dial cylinder reaction, cycloaddition reaction, 4 pi plus 2 pi addition. Takes. So what is the molar mass of cyclohexene product? It is 82. You need to calculate carbon, hydrogens. Okay. So it, you will get the molar mass, molar weight is 82. Okay. So for this particular reaction, we need to calculate the percentage atom economy. So how to calculate? If you see this particular reaction, there is A plus B gives C. So as such, there is no byproduct involved. Okay. So this particular reaction is addition reaction. As we know that in the addition reactions, there are no byproducts are formed. So 2 plus 2, 4. This is addition. So what you can calculate? Molecular weight of desired product is how much? 82. Divided by molecular weight of desired product is how much? 82. And molecular weight of byproduct. How much? No byproduct. So it is 0. So 82 divided by 82 into 100 percent. So 100. So this is a atom economy is 100 percent. So this particular reaction can be said as a atom economical because 100 percent atom economy you have obtained. So remember for addition reactions you will get 100 percent atom economy. Okay. So remember this particular point. Then uh, let us calculate. There are questions in the examination. Calculate the percentage atom economy and E factor for following reaction. If such questions comes, then they will write you some particular reaction and then it, uh, they will ask you to calculate either uh, theoretical uh, yield, practic uh, practical yield must be provided. So they will uh, give you calculate the percentage yield, percentage atom economy and percentage E factor. So once you see the reactions, what is your duty? First calculate the chemical formula and based upon that try to write the molecular weight for every component. Okay, so this is a reactant product byproduct. Okay, what is the molecular weight of aniline 93, acetonide 135, acetic acid 60, you can check. Then percentage economy, molecular weight of desired product, how much desired product, how much 135 divided by 135 plus how much 60, let us see. 135 is the molecular weight of desired product that is acetonilide divided by acetonilide plus byproduct. 
it is 60 so 135 divided by 195 into 100 so how much it will come 69.23 so this particular reaction is around 70 percent atomic economical you can, because you can see here the, this particular byproduct is forming so whenever they, you will get a formation of byproduct remember that reaction will not be 100 percent economical only in the case of addition reaction you can get the 100 percent economic okay now we want to calculate what e factor okay so what is the formula for e factor we will see that again i have shown the molar mass 93 135 60 so what is e factor mass of effluent what is effluent waste 60 divided by mass of desired product that is 135 so 60 divided by 135 is equal to 0 0.44 so 0 0.44 is uh, as compared to is good as compared to the earlier uh, reactions uh, what we have seen so what we can say this particular reaction is having e factor 0 0.44 so this is how we can calculate the percentage atom economy and e factor if any one of the reaction we know what is our first part calculate the chemical formula and based upon that molar calculate the molecular weight so remember the formulas formulas for calculation of yield atom economy and e factor hope so you understood try to take the uh, same other reactions and try to calculate the e factor and atom economy thank you see you in the next session